five, they end up winning this game with 140 points. That's great. Just stand this side. Well, I give right. the final points on the scoreboard then. It means that Stone now have 200, Derby have 310, but with the narrowest possible lead, with 315 points, it is Wem. <laughs> What type of training do you do? Well, obviously, I do quite a lot of canoeing because that's what it's all about. So we train on flat water and as much as possible on, on rough water, which means going into Wales, up to Scotland and to onto the continent too. But as well as that, we try and do quite a bit of weight training and general fitness training, running, swimming, that sort of thing. When did you first start canoeing? Ah, uh, it's a long time now. I think... Well, I was still at school. I was about 10, I was about 10 or 11. And we had, a, my parents started me off really. They bought me a plywood, plywood canoe kit that I made at school. And I just started then and I've been going ever since. What was your most embarrassing moment when you were canoeing? Well, when I was canoeing, I think, well, probably capsizing in competition is a bit embarrassing for us. And I remember doing and yes, doing a competition and the announcer was saying, this is Richard Fox, the world champion, coming down the course, doing everything right. And then as he was saying all this, of course, I tripped on a rock and I capsized and rolled up. Have you ever canoed down a mountain? What? It, you know, from a river fairly high up? Yeah. No, I haven't. It's uh, something that perhaps I'd like to do when I finish competing. There was, there was an expedition to Everest. I don't know whether you, you heard about that. That was about eight, ten years ago and they started up, in fact they started about 17,000 feet just below a glacier and they, they paddled there and then they canoed right the way down the valley. So it's uh, pretty exciting water, you know, it's, it's very dangerous, so it's something you kind of work up to and, and perhaps, you know, one time in the future. Inside the pool, as you can see, and we've got two big scoring games to come. Let me remind you, however, how the scoreboard stands. Stone have 200, Derby 310 and the narrowest possible lead, Wem have 315. Now, Richard, your team are at the bottom of the table at the moment. What are we going to do about that? That's right. Well, uh, we've had a little chat. I think we'll pull back. You will? Yeah, we've got some uh, good, good fast finishes here. What happens for you in your own personal calendar? You've twice won a world championship. When does the third one come up? In 85, every two years. So uh, I'm training for that. And you've got a Europeans before that? Yeah, three events. The Europeans uh, comprise three events this summer. Uh, and that's, that's pretty tough in itself because you know, you've got to get yeah. good, consistent results. And the world's just a one-off, and that's on the Olympic course in Augsburg in Germany. So that'll be, that'll be a really tough one to win. It'd be fantastic to get three successive world championships, would it not? It would. I, I'm really you know, hoping, and I'll train hard for it. Great. All ready to get us going yeah. on the next game. Okay. Our teams are all ready, and our next game is called Tube Travel. Right, teams, are we ready? On your marks. Get set. Tube travel on its way. Andrew Shelley, Martin Chater, Gavin McCandy. Gavin first in for the Reds of Woodlands. Back he comes. Number two's in. Shelley Barnes away for Stone. Oh, lost the ball. Got to go back and get it. Whereas Julie Annabelle for Woodlands, there she is, pops it in, and the Reds of Derby have two balls in their inner tubes. In goes Gary Cunningham. Collect hangs onto the ball. Martin Bowden has already gone. Bit of a problem for Melanie Evanson getting back for Adam's school. But Gary is on his way back. And the Reds are looking good at the moment. Vicky Robinson. There she is. She has to duck under all those. Oh, there's one in there. She's got to go another one. There it is, it's in, oh, it's gone out. Now she's gone back, somebody else will collect it. Right at the bottom, Angela Slack's job is to see that everyone's in. Graham Taylor, oh, dropped it. Joanne Sheldon, that is, I think, for Stone. Backing under, carefully getting her way back. And the Reds, Graham Taylor's OK. There's not one in there, so they're missing a ball at the moment, that one that Vicky Robinson took down, and there it is floating on the right of the picture. 
OK, Angela Slack goes. That's Carl Wilcox for Wem. Angela's got a tough job. She's got to get one in there. She'll pick up the other one. Swim back. Oh, it's very intelligent thinking. Has one come out? She's got to come up here to the raft, collect the team uh, flag, and she's done so well. Angela Slack for Derby. And their team are leaping up and down, as are their supporters. And she's got to duck under again. Keep herself going. Anne-Marie Gibson's on her way for Stone. But the Reds are looking good. That's a fine win for Derby. Now, Stone are getting very excited. They've done better in this race than their previous three. And Anne-Marie Gibson is being cheered on. And she's going to get their second, I'm sure. Hurry up, they're saying. And she's swung well. And Stone have done well to come second, and here's Caroline Yap coming in for Adam School Wem. Big smiles all round. Well, as a result of that, the scoreboard is looking most interesting. Stone have crept up a bit, they're still in third, but they now have 320 points. Wem have 405, but in the lead with 460 points, it is Derby! And only one game to go, but there are lots of bonus points on this game. So it's still undecided as yet. Richard is all ready to get us underway with the final game, which is called Man Overboard. Right, teams, are you ready? On your marks, get set. Off they go for Man Overboard. Andrew Shelley on the left, Martin Chater, and Gavin McAndrew swimming well. Gone for ten bonus points, none there. But uh, Gavin got away quickly. And there's ten bonus points for Stone. That was the big cheer in the background. Andrew Shelley scored a ten. Julie Annabelle. Oh, just missed. Far side Shelley Barnes, just missed. But it's Woodland School Derby, Christchurch and Walton Primary School for Stone and Adam School them in that order. Gary Cunningham coming up to throw, and Martin Baum misses the 10. What about Martin? Yes! 20 bonus points for Stone so far. And that could make the difference. There's 150 for first place, 120 for second. Third place gets 90. Vicky Robinson's failed for her bonus. It will be the first team out at the shallow end holding their dinghy above their head that win. Graham Taylor's in. Joanne Sheldon on the far side. Andrew Sadler just on his way back. It's still Graham Taylor leading for the Reds of Derby. And there's Angela Slack, team leader, last one in. Keith Gratz is on his way for Stone. No, they've got no bonus points, but they are in the lead. Carl Wilcox is on his way back. And Marie Gibson, the last blue Caroline Yap, is in, and Anne Marie Gibson in now. So Stone have dropped back to Wem. Now, have they managed to get their dinghy unfastened? Derby have. The Reds are looking good. Come on, you Reds. Oh, one's gone in. I think that was Angela. She's back again at OK. Now, is that a... Once that's above their head... Once it's above their head... Once it's above their head, they... Oh, they're having... They're there. The Blues are there. Now, can they get it up? I think they can. Come on, you stones. 
there it comes. Up go the yellows. And there it is, the one, two, three. So let's just check on those bonus points. Richard. Right, well, Derby failed to score anything. Wem came pretty close, but they still didn't get any. Stone, however, well, they scored two and came close with a third. So we'll give them 20 points. Great. Now that means the final scoreboard looks like this. Stone, our hosts, 430 points. Wem, 525. But in the end, the winners with 610 points, Derby! Yeah! And smashing winners they were. Derby go on to the top. They're our Midlands winners. The top two team scores stand on the scoreboard. It's for the three next high scores to do battle to see who joined them in the final. At the moment, Derby are there. And we've had a great day here in Stone because they've played marvellous hosts as they did last year. And what a good referee and visitor we'd had in the shape of Mr. Richard Fox. Good to see you. You've got hundreds more fans that will follow you around the world. Have you enjoyed the day? Yeah, it's been really good. I wish I was doing it myself. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being with us. OK, now next week we've got Kevin Jolly from the world of badminton joining us at Exeter. But from Stone this week, we finish on our final word to our teams. Away you go! Yeah! And you can see Heat 2 next Thursday at the slightly later time of 5.15.